How's it going guys? Welcome back to Little Misfortune. We kind of had a, a quiet little introduction to the game with quite a few sprinkles of weird narrative devices and multiple worlds and who the hell knows what's going Look, on in this cute little girl. Puppy. Hello puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. Alright. Okay, I was so I was like is it gonna be play with it or don't play with it or like as I was about to say just a second ago This game is clearly taking a darker turn even though it currently has the most adorable coat of paint on it right now Things are clearly heading in a bad direction and I didn't want it to suddenly be like mr. Voice is a psycho and one of the choices was murder this puppy luckily that's not what's going on here this puppy has an owner, it has a party hat, it has a collar. I will play with it, so we can share a nice time together. I mean, maybe Good it's choice. forgotten about. Now, throw the ball at it. But I don't what want to ball? set it free. This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Voice can talk, obviously. He has smelled at one point, and now he physically oh. threw us a ball. Oh. Ah, <sighs> clumsy misfortune. <laughs> Oh fuck, no, come Bye. on, no. What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. Uh, What's wrong with me? You have There's broken a lot of wrong. stuff. Sometimes life is, but I'm and here. You also don't have a well, great concept of death, it doesn't you. seem. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. Dude, I don't want to hear details about the life of the kid I just ruined. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. Was I going to the party either way? What if I set the dog free? Would that still be where I was heading? I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later. Oh. You know, when I'm broken, too. Is that because she still thinks that she's going to die or knows that she's going to die? Or is it just that, like, she... Uh, I don't know. That's sad. It's a sad sentiment. Oh! It's... He's still flying. So it's like... I don't... She, like, kind of knows he's dead. He, like, had wings there. I don't know. Don't step in the poop. Go around the poop. Run through the poop. <laughs> I thought we could like hydroplane it, you know, just go straight over. Oh, gross. God damn. Is that the same thing you did when you saw Benjamin when you had all your love puke for Benjamin? Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. Oh, sweet. You were really wigged out about that a second ago. Now you're gonna walk through both of them? Are you gonna puke by looking at your puke? I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. I'm pretty disgusted as well. Stop eating glitter. Uh, stop being so fascinated by poop and puke. Uh, gross. It's gross stuff that you're doing, little girl. Let's move on from any of that, shall we? She's got a real hustle at her step, though, doesn't she? So, she really, really goes for it. At the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And Looking forward. Part, right? Ah, yes. That too. Alright, I'm down. I'm all about and that. I, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. That's a thing yeah, that like squirrels and died. seagulls do, little girl. As as a child, as like a toddler, a young preteen, it shouldn't be happening. Oh god. They're coming to thank us for glittering their buddy earlier. What's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell they me. They didn't about like it. that? What, what about when they were all dropping dead in the me? forest? I have no idea. But you have to do something about it, fast. All right. Break loose, kick them in the balls? Do birds have balls? How are you going to kick it too? You're going to have to like punch at, up at it. The glitter seems like what they might have been mad at before anyways. I got, I think the glitter is what I was leaning towards, but I got to know how. I got to see what it's going to look like for you to kick bird balls. 
should kick them in the balls. <laughs> oh, it's her and mom's like self defense tactic. <laughs> and she said, between the legs. All right, that sounds like a plan. All right, here I go. It sounds like it's not gonna okay. work, and you're just gonna get carried away. <laughs> like she announces it like a falcon punch or something, her, her ball kick move. That was more effective than it should have been. Oh, I can ever so slightly control this. <laughs> yeah, that bird must have been flying straight up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Was it danger when we picked a coloring book, dude? Oh, hello. Hey, look, a bird. Hello, bird. He's he's flipping the bird. I was like, what the hell is going on here? That was weird in a way that this game hasn't been weird yet. That was like surreal Why weird. Why break my legs and die? Uh, you seem very good at falling. I think Thank she's you. already mm. dead. And I don't know what is going so on Mr. if Boy, she's already dead. Is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, like, that's, that's probably why she's seen Have glimpses of hell and stuff. break the news to George. About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Is she in some sort of limbo where she's, like, her choices are tipping her closer to heaven or hell? I'm not seeing flashes of heaven. I'm only seeing flashes of, like, hell so far. Will you tell him about the puppy accident? Yes. Let's try that. Yes. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. We didn't very admit to breaking the vase. Thank you. I wonder if I should have stayed consistent, or maybe I should be towing about, the line. About. I like a game about. that makes me think about those sorts about. of choices. Just a little bit farther away. Uh, okay. I think this little girl might already be dead. Ah, uh. uh, a fish. What should we do about it? Release it. Yeah, there's no reason to take it. Just push I it back like in the water. It smells fishy. The last time I tried to do a good thing for an animal, I killed it. But I didn't release the dog. So maybe I could release this animal. Maybe I should have thought about that the opposite way. Releasing the dog seemed like the wrong choice, and it would have been the right one, probably. Releasing the fish seemed like the right choice, so maybe I should have went the other way. I don't know. I don't want to walk into a kid's party with like a dying, what's the opposite of drowning, air drowning fish and be like, your dog is dead. And here's a rotten, <laughs> rotting, dying and fish. Here we are. Happy the birthday. House of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. Yeah, this kid doesn't know you. Do fine. Why You're would you know him? Telling the truth about the puppy. Don't tell him a voice told Stop you. It. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know? <laughs> It seems like a bad choice. This guy literally has a dead fish in his house. So maybe bringing the fish would have been a good thing. What if the what if the doorbell's broken? But knocking's not always that loud. We'll try and knock. I wasn't expecting this constant of choices, honestly. Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. No. Time to don't. check out the party. Why wasn't that a choice? L look. I was trying to look at the coat. Look. Oh, okay, that went away, I guess. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fisher. How have you seen so many horrible things in your short life, little girl? I guess she doesn't realize the horrible things she's looking at, so she doesn't feel the need to sparkle it away. Is he wearing... Like a Deadpool shirt? It's like, it's like 90% Deadpool. I, I can't remember exactly if that isn't in any way, but... Ah, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Yeah, but I bet you don't wish you had a bowl cut like that. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. So... Based on his weird hologram uh, etherealness, I would say this kid is dead. And his weird white-out eyes. 
also leading more credibility to the weird dead theory. Hello. We didn't see mom's face. We haven't seen another person. Ah, uh, fuck. Excuse Come me. on. Are you oh, not, there's no jump scare or anything. It's just unsettling. Puppy because they bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hang himself like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? Please no, don't be a choice. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Shh, don't yank the boots off. Don't do anything. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. I guess you still admitted it? Is this George or was the little boy George? There's a lot of upsetting things going on here, other than the dead body, but the fact that the kid is clearly dead and the fish is dead, I'm thinking the boy died somehow. Uh, this guy, like, clearly made a breakfast. He's got, like, a roll and a coffee next to him. He found out and hung himself, and it's been a while, long enough that the fish starved. Uh, kind of a lot happened here. I think we need a little bit of glitter in the situation. Well, I'm standing in the way. Ah, uh, there you go. He put on some nice cowboy boots, and he's just standing on top of a stool still. I do want to know what this painting is because I feel like it's going to be some weird, horrible insight into what this guy was dealing with. Oh, what's oh. this? Well, this is finished. <laughs> Might be finished. What do you do about the unfinished painting? It's hilarious. It's very funny. It's sick that this was this guy's final artistic piece so it makes me want to uh like honor that but i want to know what she thinks the full picture would be if she were to fill it in there you go i brought your doggy back you're welcome <laughs> and if you believe in that which the eternal happiness and mr voice and all the ways this game is pointing there seemingly is an afterlife so at least the guy will have his dog again i guess at least the dog didn't starve tied to a tree. It was over quickly. I'm trying to look on the glitter side of things here, okay? <laughs> Freaking birds. Thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. <laughs> what else is there to look at in the house? It seems like some of that only became available after the fact. Will your opinion of this uh, have changed? It's still a nice picture. Yeah, it's 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 still nice. I am curious if I backtrack. the wrong way. Ah, oh, but you're here anyway. Yes, but let's go to the other side. Ah, oh, you're so complicated. <laughs> Boys, I'm telling you, Benjamin would never be like that. I can still go. It does pause me, but I can still go. He was like, you could hear a twinge of frustration, too. He's trying to push us the other way. So I want to push it further. Ah, you can't exit the screen, though. But, this guy, who's being all nice and sweet and, uh, honestly caring-seeming and, like, kind, clearly has a, another side to him that I'm is suspecting we're gonna see more and more of. Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. Well, when you say it like that... How could one say no? The the loading or saving thing between chapters is like a clawing hand. It's like grabbing that bottom right corner of the screen. Like you're grabbing a bed sheet or something? I can't quite tell what to make of that. They just want to draw attention to it because it's peculiar. And it's a piece of imagery that I'm going to be looking oh, for elsewhere. I love the woods. With the trees, and the birds, and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? I hope we do. Like Benjamin? Yes, Benjamin. but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, alright. Is Mr. Voice, 
like a anthropomorphic rabbit or something? Why has he got such a hate on for foxes? He really, really doesn't jam with foxes, hey? And I, I want to know. Now we get some Blair Witch shit going on. What's this? Hello? That looks like it was surrendering. Oh god, the investigation thing made it look like it had an eyeball. It has a one on it? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. Okie dokie. Is a jackdaw a type of bird? It's some sort of... Uh, whatever part of the world this is. A uh, word for like a crow or something. I legit don't know what a jackdaw hmm. is. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? You shouldn't take things that aren't yours. Maybe that should be a choice. Ah, he missed that. Is someone giving us hints? What is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't it? matter. Attack it before it kills you. No. But I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> He's a very big fox, though. It's weird that he walks on his hind legs. Hello. Is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? I don't really know if this fox oh, can talk, know. and we don't know where she got uh, that name from, really. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. Your game There's is twisted and weird, I nearby. think. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> I don't like this, Mr. Voice. I like the fox. I think you're being too judgy about it the fox. It looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. It's the we number one thing I'm going. looking for. Uh, okay. But can we finish it? Is that a choice? Can we finish his painting for him? Because I want to do that. Yeah. If a choice would have come up, I was going to do it anyways. safety bubble, but it had so many cracks in it. Is Benjamin trying to get back to his world, or like protect this one? Let something into this world? It seems like he was a bit of an envoy going out, so it might make sense that he's trying to open up access for this much more awful thing. Oh good, police tape and uh, a, a rock slide sign and a body that died at the bottom of it. Just great. Oh uh, yeah, no need to glitter that. Just oh, seems that unimportant. The magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. <laughs> Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Just when it was like a funny one? little thing. Just you what wait. Then you have to laugh mean? sinisterly. Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. <laughs> so, Dope. Whenever you're ready. I have a choice here. Big moments like this seem like they'll have big consequences. There's no wrong answer. There's no right and wrong answers, is what they said. I'm. I'll just stay in the forest. I'm kind of resisting his the eternal push. Uh, okay. Okay, so I eventually have to choose the cave, is what I'm gathering there. This isn't a permanent choice to ignore what he just did. I, Considering I was pushing it just a minute ago, I kind of wanted to push Mr. Voice a bit Why further. Are you going this way? Just curious. <laughs> exactly, man. I want the freedom to choose. I want to see... So I, I do have to choose the cave. If I want to run some laps, you know, see if things change, see if I discover anything else. Literally just try to irritate Mr. Voice. Because if I can't tell Miss Fortune she's going to die, maybe I could get her to start being as distrusting a, of Mr. Voice as I am. It seems like that's only going to get us so far. It was basically just an opportunity to go oh, back and finish so drawing the circle, I side. think. This cave is huge! Echo! Not that magical well, so far, though. let's explore the cave. Okay. Take okay. this big stick with you. Okay. It's a rock-solid 
stick. I'm just joking. That was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. I thought that one landed. I thought that was a great joke. Rock solid, one would say. Ooh. What was that? Mobile. Did I miss something? I'm not sure. You're not very observant, dude. He comments on a lot. He smells things. He throws you balls now and again. He doesn't seem to see a lot. He he definitely sees, though. There's definitely been repeated indications that he What's sees. This? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know I have you nude love hamsters. Do I? Oh, can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. This is very inappropriate for you to be taking a little girl to. But maybe in hamster years, she's like 40 or something, so it's not inappropriate. It seems wrong, though. Seems like something you shouldn't be at. Whoa, oh, hamster criminal. Fight. Are you going to do something about it? You're the one who's always talking about how foxes are criminals, dude. What about the hamsters of the world? End the violence between the hamsters by exterminating all the hamsters. Hamsters. I want to stop it. Yeah, I don't want this guy to get mugged. I feel like we should help out. I feel like we could help like very easily. Thing. You have to kiss a makeup. No, you're gonna push them together with his knife out and you're gonna like stab that. him. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. They both left. Drugs? Did you just find hamster drugs? But I thought with the knife sticking out. That it was just going to be like, stab, 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 and you were going to make them kill each other. That's, at the very least, that didn't uh, happen. Are those means? Maybe I should try one, so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lazy, you know? No. Is she just going to take them? Is that not a choice? Oh. Uh, I'm feeling really nice. <laughs> it's really nice and some good stuff. I guess it is a magical cave after all. Oh, so happy. Oh, is that the Steven and uh, whatever her other name was? Okay, so I was thinking like, that's not her family. The, the dog she killed. If I hadn't killed that dog, that wouldn't be happening here, I don't think. Oh, the crows are coming back for me. It's pretty intense but that's another interesting thing of where I think there is some cause and effect and like a few stepping stones of consequences uh, going on that there wasn't refreshment at all. no the Are opposite right, Miss Fortune I'm okay you puked you're laying face down in your puke there you know usually a mint is something you take after you puke not before wasn't very good at its job Apparently, she doesn't want to comment on this particular puke pile. X, X, X. Talk about crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Just out of control. Excuse me. How about little lady getting inside? No, I'm not very important. Seems it's like you'd have okay. to kind of break the whole thing to squeeze through the door. Boys. We have to find another way out. Bouncer's a real ass. Let's ride in the car. Or the little bike. Oh, they're making out over there. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Me too. It is hyper adorable. We don't even need to glitter this. Everything is clearly going great. I'm just curious if I were to take Check that a car right away. I think she's in trouble. Oh no. If I would I miss anything. I her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Oh. Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Did she only Looks get robbed because like we stopped her from robbing escape. the other? Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. This is literally oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> Please don't tell on me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. We're, we're causing an origin story here. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune. We need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I think this box is an export of squirrel feed? That's that's all I'm seeing. 
Okay, maybe this vehicle isn't gonna be a way out of here. Uh, because it looks like there's like a lift on the other side or something. Tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. You don't want to try and climb. You were gonna try and go inside their tiny club. You don't want to try and ride away on the tiny little tricycle or anything like that. It's fair enough. I wonder what this button does. Yeah, yeah, definitely just go for it. Another fancy. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> really knows how to take a compliment. Stay. I don't think I have any reason to stay. But I guess I will. I'll just hang around. <laughs> like a little Because I'm going to wig out Mr. Voice again. One last time here. Even though the game does seem to be pushing me linearly, progressing in a certain way. The fact that that... Uh, ghost dog swept me up in that weird drug trip and uh, the crows came back and stuff part of that seems like oh shit it looks like the entry is blocked yeah I can see that now what hmm there must be another way out let's look for it okay which is kind of funny I guess I should have tried that immediately and it seems like Mr. Voice was just saying a second ago he said something about finding a way out, but we didn't know at that point that we didn't have a way out. So we, I, I just took it as him being like pushy of like, I don't want us to go back to the forest, let's go a new way sort of thing. Uh, so it just seemed like he was trying to direct things that way. Oh, I guess you have to. Stop. <laughs> hmm. Just wonderful. What kind of animals run the club in the sewer? Rats? Squirrels. The squirrel feed is like a drug trade, is it? <laughs> Wound face. The world is nine. Mine. I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. So helpful, okay. Mr. Voice, when you're not being terrifying. Ah, look, I use these acres as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know. Thank Depending you. how valuable this is, they might kill you over it, though, you know? Uh. How do I aim? I don't seem to actually be aiming. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna knock him right out. Oopsie. <laughs> just hit him right in the toe. That was close. I'm trying to, like, knock him in the head, right? This guy's worse than the oh, guards in, like, Skyrim. Whoops. <laughs> okay, Did no. Jeez, okay. Better. Oh, Do better. Sorry. Am I not trying to hit him? I'm trying to hit the alarm. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I just realized how much I was committing to the it's wrong forever. thing. I just like doming these squirrels a lot, you know? They're so drugged out on their uh, breath mints and squirrel feed that they can't even notice that this little girl's well slingshotting done, acorns at them. Yay. <laughs> That's their fault. They're just they're just so inattentive. Ooh, I do want to explore what's going on squirrel here. Spin? Speed, mm -hmm. not feed. <laughs> That's okay. That is funny, and it's funny to think of squirrels as an animal that are drugged out because they are so twitchy and fast and everything. It like fits. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. Was your dad cooking mess? Possibly. That's a whole new layer to this. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal? Yeah, but is it like squirrel cash? Oh no! What makes you think that? Mommy said that mommy is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Didn't know mom was so dumb and useless. I'm... Oh, wait. One last time here. I'm running backwards through this. Just to try and piss this guy off. I didn't even say anything this time. <laughs> I think I explored everything I, I could have there. So I, I'm, I'm going to climb on out. I 
did a pretty thorough investigation. It's a twig that time, not a clawing sheet cover or whatever's going on there. Missing girl, but not us. On the other side of the screen, listen. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, what? you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Her Where are sparkling Shadan is like magic. To the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> If these little breaks in the story keep coming uh, like 30 minutes in or whatever, where Mr. Voice gives a little aside, there's no one on that train. Yet again, there's like not people in this world, there's just animals, myself, Mr. Voice, and Mom. We didn't really see her face, but she was like moving, she was like alive. We saw the dead hung body, there's a lady driving a car. So whatever line of thinking I was on there is partially undone, not really fully in any way, <laughs> but it's something, uh, it changes my thinking on things a bit. Okay, fuck that, that's weird as hell. They had a mask on. There was like, uh, the same way that she was saying my Japanese friend, uh, he's a ghost. Which was weird, it's a weird thing, but I just thought she was a weird little girl, and he had like an alien mask on. That first girl, woman who drove by, had like an overly large grin. Uh, and it wasn't until the second car that I realized, oh, that the second car has a mask, that weird grin was probably a mask. The next two cars that have passed by are masks. So we haven't seen a real person's face yet. Uh, weird, this is hell, but at the same time I don't know what's going on. I'm confident and yet I know nothing, so that's where I'm at with this. <laughs> I'm very fascinated to see what else is going on here. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you with more Little Misfortune soon. That shit's spooky. <laughs>